I'm Nate, this is Shoot Fist Productions, and this is the Weirak HW40 PCA. And this is a silencer, and there's nothing on the market to put a silencer on this gun, but someone in the 3D printed world has come up with a little adapter. Uh, I've downloaded it, I've printed it, I'm going to try it out and show you what happened. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, so uh, I was scanning Thingiverse, I was looking for, um, when I was doing the last video all about the 3D printed air gun pellets, came across um, a silencer adapter for the Wearark HW40 PCA, and this is one of my favourite pistols at the minute, um, that's a great gun, that's quite powerful for what it is, um, and um, there's a silencer guy making a silencer adapter pattern, so... I printed it out, the first one didn't come out great, he said to print it on its side because that, that, that was, had a tendency to snap, that didn't work too well so I printed it uh, that way up, uh, came out well, the threads all work, that's uh, I think half inch 20 uh, UNF fitting, uh, and what it is, that's just a push fit in the end of the gun, because there's nothing, there's nothing really to, there's no other alternate option. Now the thing is you can't actually cock the gun with the adapter or the silencer in place, so um, Basically, it's just for the when you want to use it, you'd have to cock it, put your silencer in. So that's, that's not for like massive use, but if you want that little sneaky shot in, in silence or next to silence, and I must say, I'm impressed with how the silence had quietened this gun down. So, uh, so basically, there's your, there's your 3D printed um, piece. So that's the 3D printed adapter. You got the thread, and that's the bit that pushes in the gun. So what we've got here, yeah, we've got a Webley G40 suppressor. That's actually made for a 22 long rifle, but works well with air guns. So I'm just going to screw the adapter into the suppressor. And uh, like I say, that's a, that's a good fit. Um, then you just push it in the end of your gun, once that's cocked, obviously. And you've got your silencer. So what I'll do now, I'll just cock the gun. Because this is a, a pneumatic gun, doesn't matter about shooting it when you ain't got a pellet in, that's not really going to do any damage. So what I'll do, I'll, and, and the noise of the pellet hitting something will sort of take away, you know, the, the sound difference you're getting. So what I'll do, I'll cock the gun and I'll shoot it without the silencer. I'll then pop the silencer in and I'll show you, um, you know, the difference in sound. We're not going to use decibel meters or anything because, um, hey, we ain't got one, we probably could get an app maybe. But um, at the end of the day, this is me talking, we've got the microphone on here. So I'm just going to hold it here in front of me. I'm going to shoot it away from the cameraman. So we've got a microphone at the side here, so, uh, and that's sort of picking up. And what I'll do, I'll hold it halfway down the gun, so it's getting half of the front and half of the back. So, so and that's quite loud, I must say. So um, I'm popping this silencer in and out as a doddle. And because and this gun, you can actually see down the barrel, if you just click the back bit, obviously before it's cocked, you can actually see and make sure that's all lined up. And that lines up perfectly. Um, so what I'll do now, I'll hold the gun in the same position and uh, all safety off. And honestly, that is just... Shot it yet? Yeah, exactly. That is <laughs> phenomenal. So what I'll do, I'll just, I'll just go through that again. And I'll, obviously, I can just loop up the video to show you. There's no fluke. Uh, what I'll do, I'll hold the gun further back. So I'll hold it near my chest. I've got the microphone here to my side. Quite loud. Bit of quite a reverb around the uh, the studio. And I'll hold this a bit further back so the microphone is getting like the end of the gun where where, where a lot of the sound is coming out. And uh, here we go. And oh, that is incredible. So. Um, well impressed with that. Thanks to the guy who came up with the pattern. Um, so if anyone want one, they're on Thingiverse. Um, check out HW40 PCA silencer adapter. If you ain't got a 3D printer, find someone who have, and I'm sure they'll print one out for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.